Alright, I know I'm a little late to the party here, but whatever. What's up, you cheeky little rodents? My name is Unto a God, and welcome back to the Nut House. So, when it comes to Call of Duty 2020, well, let's face it, we're all excited. It's a natural process between the current COD game and the one that will come the year after. And during that time, it is, like always, a wild ride. Now, as you may have heard, there have been some pretty exciting leaks of COD 2020 to say the least, and we're all wondering whether it's real or if it's just plain bonkers or what. For today's video, I wanted to go over some of the leaks on the subreddit and kind of give you guys my own thoughts on what may or may not happen, as well as how I think they can improve with Call of Duty going forward. Now, as a disclaimer, I am in no way a COD veteran, nor am I an expert at the game. I just recently got truly invested into the series, and in my opinion, Modern Warfare is easily the best Call of Duty that I've played in maybe a long time, whereas before, I would play every new Call of Duty game for about a week before giving up. So far, with Modern Warfare, I've been pretty hooked and I am enjoying it immensely for the most part. So yeah, I thought I would clear that up before people go into the comments after looking at the gameplay and saying, Oh, you suck so much at the game, why are you using this or that or the M4 or whatever. I also just want to say that nothing is confirmed yet, so please take everything with a massive grain of salt. Other than that, without further ado, let's get this show on the road. So recently a user named the Exclusive Ace posted a YouTube video supposedly revealing a bit of gameplay from what is assumed to be Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Since then, the video has been set to private for an inexplicable reason, some speculating it to be Activision trying to hide what, what's been worked on to avoid er everything being revealed early. Now, what's interesting about this whole thing is that this is the longest we've gone without any official news or trailers or anything on the subject. Treyarch and Activision have been virtually silent on details of this year's Call of Duty game, and to be honest, I don't blame them. Chances are that they're just a little behind schedule and they want to work on the game a little more before saying anything. Another series of leaks had come after that on the COD subreddit detailing in depth what COD 2020 is going to contain. Now, according to this dude on Reddit and on many other sites such as GamesRadar and Screen Rant, one supposed detail that we can all pretty much safely assume is the case is that this COD will be a Black Ops game. We don't know what timeline it is, or whether it's a remake or a reboot of the original Black Ops or anything like that, but we can safely assume that it has something to do with Black Ops. Secondly, this game will release at the end of third quarter, likely around September, maybe at the start of quarter four in October. That is just the basics though. What really counts is what the game has for content. First, there will be a single player campaign, multiplayer, and zombies modes with Warzone possibly making a return along with a brand new map. More on that in a second. Sprinting is unlimited, something I wish they would just ditch because honestly, unlimited sprint is just not that great. It made the game a lot more fun knowing that people most likely wouldn't run around aimlessly without consequence, but that's probably just me. Multiplayer mops will not have interactable doors, thank god. One map is a very small boat in the Black Sea, possibly a remake of Hijacked from Black Ops 2, or it could be an entirely new map, we don't know. There will be no more specialists, which is a a spot on and an overall great decision on their part. I've gotten so sick of the specialists the past few years that I would be genuinely happy to see them gone because A, they kind of give players an unfair advantage over others, let's be honest. That and some of them were just straight up more broken and OP than the rest and B, the specialists as characters are just so uninteresting and bland that I can't even begin to tell you anything about them other than their abilities, which most of them, I don't remember. So if that's true, then I am glad to see them gone. Score streaks are returning instead of kill streaks, another great change. Instead of specialists, we'll get something more along the lines of field upgrades, which I kinda liked in Modern Warfare to be honest. 150 health currently, but no word on time to kill. Health bar returns as well. Great to hear. I always love it when COD does 
does that. Standard multiplayer is 6v6, which in my opinion is what they should have kept doing all along. The choice to reduce it from 6v6 to 5v5 was a bit odd and hard to get used to for most people, including me. There is no mounting or leaning, another great thing to hear, because I swear that's all people do nowadays is just sit there and lean or mount until they're at the top of the leaderboard. It also makes the game feel more like Rainbow Six Siege, if anything. They are removing UAV and counter UAV, which is kind of a mixed reception because some people love UAV and others hate it. And I admit, it would be extremely weird to see a COD game without that, because ever since Call of Duty 4, we've had at least some form of UAV every year, so I don't know how to feel about that, but at the same time, UAV is literally just for people who depend on their mini-map to get kills and such. So I guess it ain't half bad of an idea, but hey, time will tell. And of course, that's not all of the leaks, there are definitely more of them, but that's most of what I could gather. Now, what do I think of this? Well, first off, I just want to say, if you're going to make another Black Ops game, please, for the love of God, remaster Black Ops 1 at some point. So many people want this, because so many people love that game to death. The original Black Ops was genuinely the best Call of Duty we've ever had. The guns were great, the maps were great, the story was great, the gameplay and the perks and the score streaks and the zombies were amazing. You can hardly beat the original game, if, if ever. It was that great. Now, as for the leaks, I think there's a very big possibility that most of this is true. And the reason that I think that is because whenever they remastered Modern Warfare, people were stoked. So stoked, in fact, that they wanted Modern Warfare to be remastered as well. And eventually, guess what? There was a leak that pretty much explained that they would do that, but for the campaign, and sure enough, we got it literally four years later. Albeit is with only the campaign and no multiplayer, no spec ops whatsoever, it's just a campaign, which, hey, if you're a campaign person, perfect for you. As for the Black Ops side of things, I think it's generally pretty safe to assume that COD 2020 is exactly that. Why? Because if you think about it, the past few times a COD game has been leaked, there were some things about the era it was in, so when the actual game that came out that year was in the game era that those leaks said it was going to be in, that essentially happened. People thought 2019's game was Modern Warfare 4, so when the game came out, it was in the modern era. That is why I think it's most likely, if not 100% a Black Ops game. Now, I'm not saying I'm right, it's basically all speculation at this point, but hey, I might be right, I may not, I don't know. Again, do take it with a grain of salt. For the maps, oh boy, do we have a lot to talk about. I really, really hope that they don't pull another three lane stunt again, where every map in the game is three lanes. I swear, that, that stuff is so old at this point that I couldn't even play World War II for three days, let alone an entire year, because that's exactly what it was. The maps were flat, three lanes, and the majority of it was outdoors with little to no verticality or indoor spaces. The maps were designed for the player to run and gun, nothing else. There was nothing tactical about them, and they encourage people to run around like a bunch of headless chickens. The only good map in World War II was Gustav Cannon, because unlike the others, it was wide, open, and there were at least two levels to it, so people actually had a chance to properly snipe and get a good vantage point if they wanted to. When it comes to Call of Duty, one of the most important things that you have to get right is the map design. Don't just make three lane maps like Piccadilly or Azir Cave. Make them have multiple levels of height and several different directions to go each time. Make it like you guys actually did in Black Ops 1 and 2 or like Infinity War did with the old Modern Warfares. Obviously, you don't want to copy their maps, but at least take inspiration from them. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, Warzone. <sighs> when it comes to Warzone and Battle Royales in general, I tend to stay away from them because to me, they're just straight up unfun, they're frustrating, and they're grindy. As a concept, Battle Royale games are amazing, but when it's executed, I have very little to say on the matter because of how much I don't like them. I'm more of a classic COD kind of person. I like faster, more exciting gameplay that makes you want to play more and more each time. I enjoy the faster kind of gameplay of the older CODs. 
I don't like having the ability to constantly sprint without thinking about what I'm doing. I don't play Call of Duty for the Battle Royale, much like how I don't play MMOs for the single player experience, or I don't play FPS games for the RPG feel of it. I typically play games for the genre they're in. I get that Warzone is fun for people, but in my opinion, we've already had enough depictions of COD as a Battle Royale game, and I feel like they're alienating their main audience, because we don't play COD for Fortnite or Apex Legends or PUBG. We play it for COD and nothing else. I'm not asking for them to remove it outright because it would piss everyone off. I'm just saying we've had enough COD BRs and it's not why I would play COD. You may feel different though and that's completely fine. You don't have to get mad at me. All in all, what I'm trying to say about that is in a lot of ways, bringing Warzone back for 2020 could seriously hurt the game, like severely. And not just in fan base, but in gameplay too, because if it plays exactly the same as it did in Modern Warfare, we got a huge problem, guys. Because I don't want Black Ops to play like Modern Warfare. I don't want the gameplay to be the exact same. The engine you can keep, but I don't want the gameplay to be the exact same. I want it to be different, but I still want it to be COD. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, and finally, what do I think of this year's Call of Duty? Overall, I'm pretty excited if these leaks are true. However, I'm more anxious than anything because like I said, this is the longest we've gone without a reveal or any major details. I want this year's Call of Duty to be something I can remember for decades to come. I want it to be a game that I can play non-stop and make friends with and shit talk to other people just for the sake of it. And yeah, I just want it to be a damn great COD game because Modern Warfare is the first first great COD we have had in over 6 years, which is crazy to think. And I've never played Ghosts, so I, I don't know about that one. But other than that, I'm cautiously optimistic for the future of Call of Duty. If they do this game right, then it may be capable of being near the top of my best Call of Duties list. But other than that guys, if you liked this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for future content. You can also follow me on Twitter at UntoAGod, same as my channel name. And until next time guys, I will see you in the nuthouse. Peace.